60% of the time, it works every time. What's up, everybody? It's the Goal 60 here, joined by Michael once again. We're going into week eight of the college football season. Michael, appreciate you joining me once again. I'll let you get started. You got a lot more picks than I do, so we're going to do two picks for Michael for every one of mine, and let's get started. All right. Sounds good, man, and I'm sorry I wasn't able to do it last week. I, I did oh, have some good. stuff with work going on, but I, I'm going to start off this week with Florida. Uh, it's an SEC game. I know South Carolina came off that win with um, Georgia last year with the upset. I know Florida lost last week to LSU. It was a back and forth type game. I, I think I think South Carolina is riding this high. Uh, Florida minus six. I'm taking it. I got you. I like that. My other one here is uh, a team I rode last week. Uh, I sent you my plays. I know I didn't get to do the video, but maybe you put them out there. Uh, I took Georgia Tech uh, against Duke last week at plus 18. I see Georgia Tech again this week versus Miami, getting 18. I'm taking it. Yeah, I really like that one. I, I got that one closer to uh, when I projected I had it around uh, 15 and a half, so I'm definitely inside the number on that one for Georgia, Georgia Tech. My first play I'm going to go with is it uh, SEC game, and it's Texas A&M and Ole Miss. I hope to get a few more points on this one. I've actually got this one close to a pick them. So I'm going to take Ole Miss. I think they can put up some points. And A&M be on the road after playing a, a tough opponent last week. I'm just going to take Ole Miss to bounce back, and I'm going to take the points, plus six and a half. That's one of my games, too, Clayton. And I guess, you know, we're going to have to go head-to-head on that one here. Okay. Ole, Ole Miss and Mississippi State are god-awful, in my opinion. I uh, know Ole Miss, you know, they scored late against Alabama. Uh, Mississippi State's just terrible. The coach looks like a rapist, and their backup quarterback needs to shave his beard and learn how to throw a football. Um, but anyway, Texas a and in my opinion here, and that is one of my 13 plays of the day, is I'm taking Texas a and minus six and a half against Ole Miss all day. Um, all right, so we're going to knock that out. I got two more coming for you. I got right. uh, Stanford. I know they had um, the quarterback out of South. He's going to start this week. Run word on the street. Uh, the South, I mean, Stanford is minus seven uh, against yeah. UCLA. UCLA sucks. Chip Kelly, yeah. if he don't get fired, if he don't get fired, something's fucking wrong up there. Let me tell you this. Stanford minus seven. I'm going to buy him down to six and a half, and I think they beat UCLA's ass. I got you. I, I agree with that. Um, okay. another I'm going to go. Another team, because you already knocked one of mine out, and I'm doing two at a time yeah. here. Sorry to yeah. interrupt, but I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with a team that you're high on here, Clayton. Okay. And uh that's gonna be Boston College plus three and a half versus NC State. I like it. Okay. Lock it in. All right. Well uh my next play, I'm gonna go the Pac twelve, just like your Stanford pick. But I'm gonna go with a team that I've been on several times this year. This time they're getting more than uh double digits. And uh so I'm gonna take Oregon State plus the eleven against Cal. I like well, it. We're going you like, I like it? it? No, I like it. Hey, if we mean you and are green on it, I'd lock it in, dude. Because I got my, uh, also my straight up plays is Oregon State plus ten and a half versus Cal. I think Good Oregon deal. State puts up a lot of points. I don't know if Cal can hang with them. I see Oregon State could win this game outright. I like Oregon State all day, ten and a half. Good deal. Uh, all right. Well, moving on. Let me finish out my two other straights, and that'll finish me out since you knocked two of them out. I'm gonna, all right. I'm going to stay with. Um, UNC, uh, I know that, you know, they've been battling back and forth this, this past year. But against Virginia Tech, I'm taking UNC from minus three and a half down to minus two and a half. I think it's worth the juice. I think NC, I think North Carolina uh, wins this game outright. And uh, I'm taking them from minus three and a half to minus two and a half against Virginia Tech. Okay, I got another, you. Uh, another team I see here, and I don't know why, I, I would figure it would be a little higher I expected this game to be around 24, 27 points. Maybe I'm missing some here, Clayton, but I see Cincinnati from minus 17. I would like to buy them down from minus six to minus 16 and a half against Tulsa. Getting them underneath that uh, that key number 17, I like it because that's that's definitely going to give you a little bit of edge there, just simply because I, I think you're right. Cincinnati is not a bad team. They're really good this year, and uh, I like that. My next play, I'm going to stay in the Pac-12. I'm going to take Arizona State and Utah. I'm looking at Arizona State going on the road here. I think they can put up some points. Their offense seems to be firing, 
And I don't think they're going to win this game, but I would buy this from 13 and a half up to 14. I like Arizona State getting 14 on the road. I looked at that one and almost made a play on it, but I just, oof, I had a gut feeling to stay away. Um, I got you. What we got left here is I got a seven point, a five team seven point teaser. All right. All right, fellas. Y'all want a seven point teaser last week? I don't know if, Clayton, did you post those picks last week that I had for that teaser? Because it hit, baby. It, it did hit. hit. It did hit. And I'm, I'm riding with a five team teaser this week, and I'm going to go ahead and get that to you now. Here we go. We got Troy against South Alabama. Troy, I think, is going to beat the dog shit out of them. Troy's hot or hot on defense. I think South Alabama sucks. I saw their players at the Heroes the other day. I, I mean, my sister's bigger than them. All right. <laughs> I am looking at Troy from minus 15 down to minus eight against South Alabama. Another team, Auburn. Don't like them. My brother went there. He's literally the little brother. Who are they playing this week? Arkansas this week. I know. It's terrible. I can't have to. What? As, uh, Arkansas, who are they? Um, so in yeah. that seven point teaser, I'm gonna take Auburn minus 19 and a half. I'm gonna tease them down to 12 and a half. I think Arkansas gets that ass whipped. Okay, LSU, let's go on and get with it. We got they they spanked Florida's ass. I don't know, I mean, it was a back and forth, you know. They both have good defenses and they were both scoring at will per se. Uh, but here, Mississippi State, like I said, their team, their coach looks like a rapist, their, their quarterback sucks. He needs to shave his beard so he can. Get something going here. LSU minus 19 and a half. I think they wax their ass. I mean, I see LSU winning 20 plus points, but you know what? To be safe, I'm going to drop it down seven points. Let's take LSU minus 19 and a half down to 12 and a half against Mississippi State. Lock her in. Number 14 yeah. on, this, on this teaser here. I know he coached at Alabama, and I know they've been up and down this past year, but I like Maryland. Uh, Maryland against, oh, I spilled a little water on this over here. Oh, Indiana. Indiana. Yeah, okay. Here we go. We got Maryland against Indiana. Uh, first of all, I think Maryland can beat them straight up. Who is Indiana? Uh, I'm going to take yeah. Maryland plus five and a half, tease them up to plus 12 and a half. I think it's a lock. I think that's easy money. Gotcha. You can, anybody anybody out there listening, you can, you can dwindle, this, dwindle this down to a three-team if you want. But in my opinion, I think the Auburn LSU Maryland is a straight lock. I threw Troy in there because South Alabama sucks. Or I think 15, they can cover that Troy-wise, so I bumped them down to eight. The last one in the parlay is Boise State. They've been playing well all year long. Okay. Yeah. I'm taking Boise State. I'm teasing them down against BYU for minus six and a half. Seven point teaser. That's going to bring you right at a pick em, maybe a plus a half, depending on the line you get it at. But I think Boise State beats BYU easy here. I think that's I think that's a good five team play. And so that is my seven point teaser of the week. I like it. My last two plays, my first one's going to be in the uh, Big Ten. And I'm looking at a team that right now I think is firing on all cylinders, and that is Minnesota. I think that they go over this total. If Rutgers can get anything, can put up a single touchdown, I think we go over here. I think Minnesota covers at 28, but I'm actually looking at the over here more than that side. And I'm going to go over 47 and a half. I'm probably going to end up teasing that down to uh, probably uh, 41 and a half, just get it down to where if it's a 35 to 7, they hit the line, they cover by 28, and they also go over that total. So I'm going to probably, you know what, I'll just go ahead and say, I'm going to tease that down to 41 and a half over Minnesota and Rutgers. My last one is another over, and it's in a, a game where both teams seem like they can score at will right now, and that is Clemson and Louisville. I see this game – Actually, going back and forth, maybe a little bit at the start. Clemson starting to spread out with it and start breaking away. I have this thing projected a full seven points higher than what the actual line is. It's a 60 and a half. I think it goes over that. If you give, if Louisville puts up 14 or more, I think this game easily goes over. So I'm going to go Clemson and Louisville. And if you would like to take the last two picks there. And tease both of them to go over, you would take and uh, have a lot better situation. So that's all I've got. Michael, you got anything else to add before we close out? <clears throat> no, nah, man. I just want to mention I almost, I almost, I looked at the Minnesota game. I've been high on Minnesota this year. I'm right yep. there week. I think the game goes over easy on that. Um, and also Louisville Clemson. Uh, Clemson, they can score at will. Their defense is sluggish a little bit this year. Uh, the defense line's good, but uh, Louisville's been putting up points also. So I yeah. definitely can see that one, that one going over as well. Uh, long story short, though, this week, 
I like a lot of games. I think there's a lot of money to be made this uh, this week, and uh, if you have smart plays, um, I think you can uh, make some money. Yeah, I agree with you. There's there's 31 games this week that are Power Five versus Power Five. That's the most we've had all year. That's the most data I've had to put out there. I thought I was going to actually have more than six plays, but you know, a lot of these I actually. Um, it's a good and bad thing. I hit right on nail on the head on a lot of these spreads, which means that I am on to something, but also limits how many plays I get. So my discrepancies showed, you know, I went with my best six that I felt like. And um, like you said, I, there's a lot of opportunity. There's a lot of opportunity for live playing. I've been, I've got a friend of mine who's been doing a lot of live bets as these games are going on. And I think there's a ton of opportunity for that this weekend. A lot of games that can start out real sluggish. And you start live betting, and it could go your way easily towards the end of the game. Oh, yeah. I mean, to, to those out there viewing this, any, if you have a live book and you have a book that you're, you are just playing on you know, on a website where you can have the opportunity to live bet, I suggest that all day. I mean, anytime you live bet and you kind of watch a game, you get the feel for it. Even if you're going to lose a bet, you, you, you got that chance to you know, kind of um, straighten it out and, 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 and push and assume yeah. and not lose money. So, yeah, I tell you know, people like I said, all. The time. Yeah, there's there's a lot of good games. There's a lot of good games. Uh, there's a lot of good games coming in this week, man. And I, like I said, I, I actually struggled. I had a couple other teams here. I, I, I marked one out, and I'm gonna go ahead and say it, just in case yeah. those listeners out there wanna wanna ride it with me. Yep. I had Washington. Okay, also in a teaser, and Washington plus three. You tease them up to plus ten against Oregon. I think they can beat Oregon straight up. I know they've been—I know they've been hit or miss this year, but I think Washington has more of a complete team. I'm taking Washington also in a teaser. You want to throw it in there at sixty? Hey, I'm—I'm I'm putting my guys in there. Five. I'm putting a five team in there. Okay. You can put a six team in there if you want. Add Washington to it from plus three up to plus ten against Oregon, or you can pick and choose on my seven point teaser, the one you feel comfortable the most. But I see a good five to six team teaser here, seven points. Like I said, I hit that one last week. I think it's a lock. And I got like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight against the spread. So like I said, I like a lot this week. Hopefully we can all win some money, play some, and let's ride them, make it some money. Well, let's do it. I appreciate it, Michael. That wraps up our video for week eight. I'll have all the picks in the description. I'm also going to post that record like he's talking about, the straight-up record, because the way of keeping it as straight-up as the bet and also as teasers, we'll post.